Hello, welcome to Profit Pros. Today, we are going to compare renting and buying. Neither of them is a bad decision if you are happy and satisfied at the end of the day, but making the wrong decision might have a huge negative effect on your financial situation. You know, if you ask some of the millionaires and their thoughts on this topic, they highly suggest you rent until you are able to buy a house that you are planning to buy 10 times over. This secures your happy future, and when you can afford to do this, buying a house doesn't get you in debt for your entire life, and you can actually fulfill all your needs and requirements. But in the same way, there might be someone who needs those four walls in their own name to stay. And in that situation, buying a house is not a bad decision really. Because like I said earlier, you should be happy and satisfied at the end of the day. There are pros and cons to both of them. So let's look at some of the three pros and cons for each so you can make a good decision for yourself. Renting. Renting simply refers to paying a certain amount of money, typically on a monthly basis, to live in a property owned by someone else. Renting provides flexibility as it allows you to move to a new location or property relatively easily. Pros. Flexibility. One of the great things about renting is the flexibility it offers. You have the freedom to move around and explore different neighborhoods or cities without the hassle of selling a home. If you're someone who enjoys change or if your work requires you to move around frequently, renting allows you to easily adapt to your new surroundings. Lower upfront costs. Renting generally requires less money up front compared to buying a property. Instead of a hefty down payment, you typically need to pay a security deposit and maybe the first and last month's rent. This means you can save up for the things you might need or want, like travel, investments, or pursuing hobbies. Limited responsibility for maintenance. When you're a renter, you can let go of some of the headaches that come with maintenance and repairs. It's the landlord or property owner's responsibility to handle major maintenance issues, like fixing a leaky roof or a broken appliance. You can sit back and relax, knowing that you won't be hit with unexpected repair bills. Cons. Lack of equity building. One drawback of renting is that your monthly rent payments go towards your landlord's income rather than building equity for yourself. Unlike home ownership, where you have the potential to build wealth through property appreciation, renting doesn't offer that long-term financial benefit. Subject to rent increases. Rent prices can increase over time, especially in areas with high demand or when the cost of living rises. As a renter, you might not have control over how much your rent will increase from year to year. This lack of predictability can make it challenging to plan your long-term budget or financial goals. Buying. Buying a home involves purchasing a property and becoming the owner. This option provides certain advantages and considerations that differ from renting. Pros. Long-term investment and equity building. One of the significant advantages of buying a home is the opportunity to build equity over time. As you make mortgage payments, you gradually increase your ownership stake in the property. Additionally, if the property's value appreciates, you can potentially benefit from capital gains when you sell it in the future. Potential tax benefits. Buying a home may come with potential tax advantages. For example, you might be able to deduct mortgage interest and property taxes from your taxable income, which can help reduce your overall tax liability. These tax benefits can provide some financial relief and potentially increase your disposable income. Cons. Higher upfront costs. Buying a home typically involves higher higher upfront costs compared to renting. You'll need to save up for a down payment, which is a percentage of the home's purchase price, along with closing costs and potentially other fees such as appraisal and inspection costs. These upfront expenses can be a significant financial hurdle for some individuals and families. Market fluctuations and risks. Real estate markets can experience fluctuations, and there is always a level of risk associated with buying a property. The value of your home may fluctuate over time, and factors such as economic conditions and neighborhood changes can impact its marketability and potential return on investment. In the end, buying a home takes a lot of money. And if we have the source to pay for the home or for the debt we take, it is good to have your own home. But buying a home is not a need. It's what you want. So it all depends on what you prioritize. Your other needs, such as a nice car, vacations, etc. Or a home in your name. Make a decision on your own beliefs so that you don't regret it later. For more content, subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one. Bye.